Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fine. Our lesson for today is all about performing the basic operations on integers. Positive numbers together with zero and negative numbers are called integers. Integers greater than zero are called positive integers. Integers less than zero are called negative integers. The integer zero is neutral. It is neither positive nor negative. The sign of an integer is either positive or negative, except zero, which has no sign. First, we're going to discuss about addition of integers. In adding integers, we're going to look at the sign of the addends. When we say addends, these are numbers to be added. If they have like sign or the same sign, add the numbers and copy the common sign. For example, positive 10 plus positive 8. Our addends are both positive, so we're going to add the numbers. 10 plus 8 is equal to 18 and copy the common sign, which is positive. Therefore, the answer is equal to positive 18. Another example, negative 20 plus negative 15. Our addends are both negative, so we're going to add the numbers. 20 plus 15 is equal to 35, then copy the common sign, which is negative. Therefore, the answer is equal to negative 35. Another example, 15 plus 8. Kindly notice in this example, 15 and 8 have no sign. If there is no sign, it is understood positive. We can write the positive sign or not for the counting numbers. So, 15 plus 8 is equal to 23. 23 here is considered as positive. How about if the addends are unlike signed or different signs? What shall we do? In this situation, we're going to subtract the numbers and copy the sign of the bigger number. For example, positive 34 plus negative 21. So we have here positive and negative. So we're going to subtract the numbers. 34 minus 21 is equal to 13 and copy the sign of the bigger number. 34 is bigger than 21 and the sign of 34 is positive. So our answer is positive 13. Another example, 8 plus negative 16. So 8 is positive and 16 is negative, so we're going to subtract. 16 minus 8, and it gives the answer of 8, and the sign of the bigger number is negative, so our answer is negative 8. Another example, 35 plus negative 10. So 35 is positive and 10 is negative, so we're going to subtract. 35 minus 10 is equal to 25. So let's apply what you learned. Find the sum of the following integers. When we say sum, it is the answer of addition. So positive 4 plus negative 9 is equal to all right, negative 5. How about this? Negative 18 plus negative 4. What is the answer? Okay, it is negative 22. Another one. Positive 20 plus 
positive 8. What is the answer? Very good. It is positive 28 or 28. Next, we're going to discuss about subtraction of integers. How to subtract integers? In subtracting integers, change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. What do you mean by subtrahend? Subtrahend is the number that subtracted from the minuend. For example, positive 43 minus positive 20. So, we're going to change the sign of the subtrahend. Positive 20, it becomes negative 20 and proceed to addition. So, our addends now are positive 43 and negative 20. They have different signs, so we're going to subtract the numbers. 43 minus 20 is equal to 23 and copy the sign of the bigger number, which is positive. Therefore, the answer is equal to positive 23. Another example, negative 67 minus positive 22. So first is we're going to change the sign of the subtrahend. From positive, it becomes negative and proceed to addition. So our addends now are negative 67 and negative 22. They have the same signs. All we have to do is we're going to add the numbers. 67 plus 22 is equal to 89 and copy the common sign, which is negative. Therefore, the answer is equal to negative 89. Another example, 75 minus 8. 8 is positive, so we change to negative. And from subtraction, it becomes addition. So 75 plus negative 8, they have different signs, so we're going to subtract the numbers. 75 minus 8 is equal to 67. Let's answer the following exercises. Find the difference of the following integers. When we say difference, it is the answer of subtraction. So, negative 14 minus negative 59. In subtracting integers, first is we're going to change the sign of the subtrahend. From negative 59, it becomes positive 59. And proceed to addition. Okay, what is the answer? Very good, it is positive 45 or 45. Another example, positive 11 minus positive 31. So change the sign of the subtrahend. From positive 31, it becomes negative 31. And proceed to addition. We're going to apply the rules in adding integers. So what is the answer? Very good. The answer is equal to negative 20. Another one. Positive 20 minus negative 3. So change the sign of the subtrahend. From negative 3, it becomes positive 3. Then proceed to addition. Positive 20 plus positive 3. What is the answer? Okay, the answer is positive 23 or 23. We know already how to add and subtract integers. Now, let's discuss about multiplication of integers. In multiplying integers, remember this rule. Positive times positive is equal to positive. Negative times negative is equal to positive. Multiplying like sign is positive. Positive times negative is equal to negative. Negative times positive is equal to negative. Multiplying unlike sign is negative.
Let's apply the rules. Find the product of the following integers. When we say product, it is the answer of multiplication. So, positive 8 times negative 9. So, first is we're going to multiply the numbers. 8 times 9 is equal to 72. Then, if we're going to multiply positive and negative, or unlike sign, the answer is negative. Therefore, the answer is negative 72. Next example, negative 7 times negative 5. What is the answer? Alright, it is positive 35. Or 35. Another one, positive 6 times positive 3. What is the answer? Very good, it is positive 18 or 18. The last but not the least operation on integers is division. So how to divide integers? Consider this rule. Positive divided by positive is equal to positive. Negative divided by negative is equal to positive. Dividing like sign is positive. Positive divided by negative is negative. Negative divided by positive is negative. Dividing unlike sign is negative. Division and multiplication of integers, they have the same rule on signed numbers. Find the quotient of the following integers. When we say quotient, it is the answer of division. Positive 27 divided by negative 9. So, we're going to divide the numbers. 27 divided by 9 is equal to 3. And positive divided by negative is negative. Therefore, the answer is negative 3. Another example, negative 70 divided by negative 10. So, 70 divided by 10 is equal to 7. Negative divided by negative is equal to positive. Therefore, the answer is positive 7 or 7. Next example, negative 56 divided by positive 7. What is the answer? All right, the answer is negative 8. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.